the awkward moment when you just filmed this video but then realised that none of it actually recorded. I'm literally checking every two seconds now to make sure it's recording. It's getting a bit scary. Hi guys, I'm Shona and obviously this is my channel. Um, as you probably know if you're watching this, I do do a lot of vlogs, like follow me around type videos, but I found that my life's quite boring. So I wanted to switch up a bit because otherwise I'd never upload. It's quite sad really. Anyway, um, so I am doing a weekly vlog this week, but I literally don't leave the house unless it's to go shopping for food. And I'm not really in the stage where I can vlog in front of other people yet, unless they're my family or friends, so street vlogging, no, no thank you. But I thought I'd switch up and do a different type of video, so this one today is called My Favourite Things, and I found this when I was binge watching Charlie is So Cool Like on YouTube. And apparently he took this idea from Hank Green, so now I'm taking it from him. I, I feel like there should be some backstory to this. So, Charlie is so cool like was the first YouTuber I ever watched. Um, I was at a sleepover with my friend once. I was at a sleepover with my friend once and she said, have you heard about this guy on YouTube? And I was like, no, no, because I knew YouTube for music videos because my granddad used to show me a lot of music videos on YouTube so I thought oh, this is quite cool because I used to use Yahoo Music. Yeah those were the days. She showed me Charlie So Cool Like Me watched do it with myself and all that sort of stuff and I was like yeah he's cool he's cool and she's like yeah he's cute and I was like yeah he's alright and she's like he lives in Bath and Bath at the time was a 10 minute um, train journey for me so I was like what? I was shocked that someone famous on the internet lives so close to me and almost if I met them they probably knew where I was from you know like that's that's a big shock for me because you expect them to be in the, like London and all the big capital cities and he wasn't, he was just down the road which was quite sweet and every time I went to Bath I'd always say to my parents I can meet Charlie so cool like today never did shame I had a binge watch of him and I found it quite quite nice to see how he's developed because obviously I made a new YouTube for you guys and um, for these videos and so I also unsubscribe from him so subscribing again was very nostalgic and the little 15 year old in me was very proud of that moment but anyway get on with the video Shona stop dawdling oh my god um so yeah today I'm doing my favorite things all oh my days <laughs> when you're just as popular as me it's just what happened I'm joking so I thought today I'd do my favorite things which is actually a really cute idea and reminds me a lot of The Sound of Music even though I haven't seen that movie. Oops. So my first thing is when you hear an old song that you completely forgot about and you know all the words and it takes you back to the time when that song was a popular song with you. So I have this with a lot of punky bands from when I was in sixth form to when I was about 15 and it's just I don't know, it's just, it's a lovely feeling. Nostalgia is a great thing as well as a terrible thing because you do kind of wish, oh, I wish I was still back in those days and I'm not. And now I've got to do life and bills and ugh, everything else. But I thought that is um, one of my favorite things because it's good to know that you've got those memories and knowing that all those memories are encased into that one song or one album is just, well, it's, it's quite amazing to be fair, it's amazing what music can do. This is a random one, and so this might be, might not be one that you guys um, relate to, but for me it's, it's, and it's an important one, and it's when you get the crispy bits in chips. So what I'm talking about is chips as in like french fries, not crisps. And so what I mean is when you get like a portion of chips and you've got those little crispy chips, chips that you always get at the bottom. I love them so much. Um, it's my worst nightmare when people try to steal them and I'm just like no they're mine. You you touch my chips I will deck you. <laughs> don't don't. Joey doesn't share food. This one probably I mean to be fair with me still being at uni it still makes sense but it's when you um, get back a result on an exam or coursework or homework and you realise that you did a lot better than you thought you would. And also this one kind of plays off of that but seeing other people happy, like people you care about. So when you see, like say one of my friends come over, she says, I got a 97 on my um, 
homework, I'd be like, wow, that's amazing. And just seeing their happiness on their face is just a great feeling. Like, um, sometimes happiness can come from the weirdest places and um, sometimes it can just be other people being happy. It can make you happy. A smile goes a long way, guys. Smile at people and it could make their day. I really mean that. This is another one that's really important to me. Um, having someone there at the end of the day um, this could literally be anyone, it could be someone off my course, it could be my boyfriend, it could be a family member, but just having someone there who you can talk to and they, even though they might not understand completely what you're talking about, they still try to and they still make an effort to listen to you and be there for you when you need them and that's just, that's a great feeling to just have anyone there, even if it's like an internet friend or I just put out on Twitter, oh I haven't had the best day and people pop up like, oh what's wrong, what's wrong, it's always a great thing knowing that there is always someone there for you when you need them. This is a random one and I don't mean it in a creepy way, um, I mean it in a nice way, is compliments from strangers. Now I love getting compliments from strangers, especially elderly women and that sounds really creepy. It's not meant to sound that creepy but um, you know when you're walking down the street and you'll see a little lady and she'll say oh I really like your hair today, oh that's a nice outfit, all that sort of stuff, makes my day. It's like older people seem to understand that there isn't enough happiness in the world so they just try and bring it to everyone, you know? It's like when your nan goes oh I made cakes and you're just like oh this is why I love you. Like it's such a great feeling knowing that there are people out there who will try and make other people's days better even if they don't know them. I think they're sometimes the best people. And this carries on from this one, which is um, seeing someone else do something nice for someone. So it might be seeing your friend do something nice for someone, or it could just be a complete stranger. I remember this when I was in London with my photography course at sixth form, and we went to this museum, we were all really hungry, so me and my friends were like, let's go get McDonald's. So we checked it with the teacher, and they're like, yeah, yeah, go get food, whatever. And outside McDonald's was a homeless guy sat there. And a guy came out in a suit and had a suit, had like a satchel, he was proper, you could tell he had like quite a good high end job. And he came out with a big bag of McDonald's and a big drink and he just gave it to the homeless guy. And you, it was just that random act of kindness and knowing that that homeless guy couldn't do anything for the guy back. He did it out of the kindness of his own heart and I think that's just such a lovely thing to do. Like in second year, there was a guy who used to sit underneath a bridge we had to walk through and one day I went in to hand some work in. Why don't I just buy him something? So my uni does a breakfast where you get five items of food and a drink for like four pounds. So I was like done. So you could take it away. So I got in the little takeaway box, just walked up to this man and went, do you want breakfast? And he was like, what? And I was like, here you go. Just came breakfast and walked away. And I've never felt better. Like just doing random things for people that can't do anything back for you is such a great thing. Like, it's an amazing feeling and more people should do it. This is one that's more for 15 year old me, but I guess it still rings true, is when your favourite band releases a new song or album. Now when All Time Low bought out Don't Panic and... Oh, they, I can't remember the name of the song, I'm awful with song names. But they put out the Don't Panic album. And I was around my nan and granddad's at the time and someone was like on Twitter like they've put it out, they've put it out. So I jumped on the, my nan and granddad's computer and was like I need to listen. And I did and it was a really good song. But it's that sort of feeling of oh my god there's new music from my favourite people in the world. I need to listen now. Um, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's one. And this one which rings true so hard for me is finally getting to see your favourite band or singer or whatever in concert. I was going to say in person, but that doesn't really make sense. In concert, I'd say more. Um, this happened for me in my first year of uni. I got to see Mutt Busted live and I've never been so happy. I've never cried so hard at a concert. I've never cried at a concert before, but the second, um, the second they started, I can't remember what the first song was. Ah, oh, it might have been what I go to school for. I'm not sure. The second it started, I was in floods of tears and I just sleeping with the light on, which isn't even my favourite song, but knowing that James loved that song so much made it just so great. Um, even now I can't listen to some songs off the album because they just take me back to that day and that, that was an amazing day for me. I started queuing at 7am thanks to my now flatmate, which I'm not complaining because we were right at the barrier, but it was early. 
<laughs> my final one has to be when the book you like has the ending that you want or an even better ending that you weren't expecting. Now this rings true for quite a few. One is Will Grace and Will Grace and by John Green because I Will Grace and Will Grace and wasn't my favourite book until it got to the ending. Um, the ending was it was a lot better than I thought it would be. I wasn't sure how they were going to end it and then they ended it in the way they was and I was literally laughing out loud at like midnight in my room just reading it. I love that book. Looking for Alaska is probably my favourite though. And same with Harry Potter. It just, everything felt right. You know, everything came to that point that I knew it was right and yeah. I love that book so much. Yeah. I'm getting all nostalgic now guys. Oh, what is happening? But anyway, um, that's my favourite things, I guess. Um, I hope in my throat. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I am hoping to do these sorts of videos like twice a month because with vlogging I don't want to do like daily vlogs because they can get kind of boring especially as you can't have something going on every single day unless you're rich and famous which then you can but um, I want to keep um, the videos coming because I don't want to have big gaps between them um, so yeah, so expect more videos like this. If you have any recommendations of the sort of videos you'd like me to do, then please tweet me or put it in the comments or anything because I'm always up for suggestions and it really helps when you've got a block for ideas and you don't really know what to do. Um, even though everyone says, oh yeah, you should do what you want to do, you shouldn't do what your audience wants you to do, but sometimes it's nice to know what you guys are into and what you guys would like to see. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you probably in a couple of weeks. Um, my vlog should be going up um, the week after this video does. So I hope you enjoy it and I will see you then.